after Ships Ahoy pageant was still underway, and it was time for the contestant interviews. See, most people eat the ice cream first, but I bite the bottom of the cone and suck everything out. The question was, where do you see yourself in five years? And I believe you have my answer. Okay, that's enough of that. Next contestant, Jeff Schwartz. Good luck. She's tough. So, Jeff, what makes you the ideal Mr. Ships Ahoy? I don't know, nothing, I guess. Moving on. If you were Mr. Ships Ahoy, what would your catchphrase be? Thanks for settling. May I? Please. Erica, what are you doing? I'm asking the questions. What is my birthday? August 18th, why does that matter? I'm showing them why you're the hottest guy in this contest. When's our anniversary? Hand-holding, kissing, dating, or saying I love you? All four. November 4th, January 23rd, February 2nd, June 9th. Aww. And that's when Jeff realized he did have something the other contestants didn't. What's your ideal date? Any date with you is ideal. Aww. Who's the prettiest girl in the audience? What audience? Jeff, 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 Jeff. As Jeff finally realized his worth, my mom was feeling worth less. Why are you eating here instead of the teacher's lounge? Because I'm no longer welcome there. Or this school. I'll do what you want. I'll resign. You're quitting? You've never quit anything. What happened? What happened is I tried to make friends with the teachers, but they only see me as the enemy. Maybe with a little more time. Adam, it's over. I guess I fought so hard for you, it ended up costing me. After years of my mom marching down to the school to have my back, it was time to do the same for her. But going somewhere I never dared to go before. Uh, kitty in the lounge, meow, meow. You guys call me Kitty? We call all students Kitties. Not that one senior with the mustache. I call him something else. What are you doing in here, Adam? I'll tell you what I'm doing in here. You suck. Excuse you. Not OK. Now you're on special teams, too. Fail me if you want but you already failed my mom. We failed her? I pulled my groin at her field day. That's my best feature. Look, I know she's been hard on you guys in the past, but you've never had her on your side before. Look what she did to your lounge. It is a soothing oasis in the midst of our chaotic world. If there's one thing you learned about my mom over the years, she never gives up. Give her a chance. She'll be the best ally you've ever had. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it over here. Um, you don't have to defend me, Adam. Life is not like TV shows. Sometimes coworkers just don't become friends. But sometimes they do. Adam's right. We never gave you a shot. And I hate to admit it, but your constant badgering over the years has made me a better teacher. And I'm new, so agreeing with everyone else seems like my only option. So, fresh start? I'd like that. <laughs> Beverly Goldberg, new Quaker warden. John Glasgow, guidance counselor. This is nice. Yes, it is. Now get out of the lounge. It's for teachers only. Changing the way people see us can be a full-time job. So is changing the way we see ourselves. But it isn't hard work for the people we love to see who we really are. At the end of the day, when we're comfortable just being ourselves, there's nothing sweeter.